here we go. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Today, we're going to be drawing... Shark! A shark. And we're going to draw Megalodon. Ooh, scary. All right. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, everybody, we're going to start with our pencil. And we're going to start, as usual, with real light pressure. Right now, all we're doing is just trying to figure out some basic shapes and where our shark's going to fit on our page and, and some of that stuff. So what we're going to start with is I'm going to put in the, in the middle here, real light pressure. I'm going to put an oval for his body. This is going to be the main body of the shark. I'm going to do my body. You know, leave some room for the head and the tail. I am. That's all you got to make sure of because we're going to have a tail coming off this way and the head coming off this way. Now, Megalodon was big, real big. It was like a giant great white. Okay, so that's my oval. That's where the body is going to sit on the paper. And then I'm gonna come off the top of the oval. Real light pressure. I'm gonna be doing kind of a triangle shape that connects back with the bottom here. That's gonna be kind of an, I believe they call it an isosceles triangle because this side's gonna be a little shorter than this side as it hooks back down to the bottom of the body there. Like Whoa, the... look how big his head is. Whoa, dude. That is crazy. You should have a shape kinda of like this. And again, this is just the beginning. We're just figuring this out. So some of this will probably change as we go. Now in the middle of the body up here, I'm gonna throw another triangle shooting up in the air. Shirts have lots One of One flat side here. On. Yeah, they do. And that is going to be the dorsal fin. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah, those mechanical pencils can be tricky. You can't push too hard with them. Whoa, and look then, how big his fin is. Whoa, man. I think I'm going to make it one more pointy. Uh, that's fine, yeah. It probably should be pointy, but it doesn't have to be. You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> Once we have that, we're going to shoot straight down and we are going to do another triangle coming off just above the bottom of the belly and coming up and that is going to be his pectoral fin and we're going to have another one kind of poking out from behind his body right there like that look what i did then nice i did it different hey that is all right do it you know what? That's that's what drawing's all about. Have fun with it. You don't have to do exactly what I'm telling you to do, but if you want to, great. If you feel like there's something that would look cool that you want to try, go for it. Whoa, look how strong he is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, the tail, we're gonna start coming off. Now the tail, we're gonna kind of follow along this line here. We're gonna come out to about here. And then we're gonna kind of connect back down to the belly like that. I'm not gonna make my tail triangle. You're not, okay, that's that's fine. What what, what shape are you gonna do? Kind of like a, oh, half of it over. Okay, okay, you like that? Yep. Maybe you got kind of a different sea creature going on, huh? And then right there is where the tail is going to start. And the tail is basically a big triangle. <laughs> and it comes off. This way at the bottom though is usually a little shorter than the top. So top is longer, comes down into another kind of point there in the middle and comes back out and down like So now we have kind of a basic shape of Ooh. our shark. Now some of the things I'm seeing right now already, I'm going to probably beef him up a little bit. Uh, so My guy's already beefy. Yeah, he is. So I'm gonna kind of give him a little bit more meat up here, and I'm probably gonna have that fin bounce up a little bit higher. And I'm probably Mine's gonna give his, a big fin. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna give his belly a little bit more there, and have this connect right in there. And that's why we do pencil and we do it light in the beginning so that we can correct anything that we don't like as we're going here. Now, off right about where the end of his oval, the oval we originally drew ends, we're gonna shoot off another little fin here. That's 
kind of a triangle. And then another little one up here in the middle of his tail, or the middle of the, I don't know, I guess that is kind of the start of his tail. And then another little guy up here, like that. I'm gonna make his fans here a little bit longer and crazier. I'm gonna make, go I'm gonna make the tiny fin on the top a little bit longer. So now that I have this shape going, I'm going to start figuring out where the eyes and the mouth are going to go over here. And I'm going to come down a little ways from the nose there. And then I'm going to bring it back in. I'm going to kind of go up, following almost that shape there. And I'm going to give my shark a little bit of a funny grin. So I'm going to have it kind of hook up towards the top right there like that. Okay. Looks like a giraffe. Like it. Yeah. Like and then at the top there is a crease where it meets his cheek. And then I'm going to come down to around in here for the bottom. I'm going to have that I'm actually just gonna extend out a little bit that and come back in. Like that's the eyes right open. now he does. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Now, I want his nose to be a little longer too, so I'm gonna have that go out and kind of come back in like so. Look what I did to my shark. Wow, I like it, buddy. Yep. Now the eye is gonna be down here, kind of in the middle of the, the mouth opening here, and I'm gonna do kind of a line shooting down. He's gonna kind of have a little bit of a grumpy attitude. Bounce that up there like that. That's his eyebrow. We're shooting that off there. Nice. Now, nice. since I kind of know where things are at, I'm gonna start using, um, I'm gonna start pushing a little bit more firm uh, and start defining some of the details here related to uh, the shark. So I'm gonna start really uh, diving in and this is a time where we're going to push a little bit harder and we're going to start figuring out where we're going to eventually ink. So I am going to go with the teeth right now and I know I want to have a little bit of gum showing so I'm going to come down and follow another line along his upper lip there. That's going to be his gums and then I'm going to have his teeth coming out from there and I'm going to have mine kind of hooked back like that. Just for the fun of it. And then the bottom, I'm gonna do some little sharp teeth like that. Big. Yeah. Muscle, muscle. Doing some big old muscles, huh? Muscle. Now, I'm gonna come down here. I'm pretty like much this, done. Mostly. I'm gonna do a bigger belly. And down like that. And right here is where these fins are at. I'm going to kind of shoot down and I'm going to do kind of a sharp edge. Give it a little bit more length because I didn't like the length on that original one. And then I'm going to do the same thing back here. You know what? I'm going to have a couple little, when I ink it, I want to remember. I'm going to do a couple little chunks out of his fins right there. Now up top, I'm going to have a little dorsal muscle there. It now it's going to go to his dorsal fin. I'm going to have it kind of hooked back like that into a sharp point. Come down. I'm going to do some pieces out of it. And then I'm going to... This guy didn't get as beat up as the other ones. No? See, he's not that beat up at all. He's got a couple, a couple chunks out of him there. Okay, now we're going to come down. Look how big that chunk is out of him, out of his tail. Looks like a shark bit him on the fin, doesn't it? Yeah. Does. He's probably been in some fights, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. It's tough out there for a shark. Especially back then, when Megalodon existed. Because okay. there was like these different kind of things, and there was like such thing as a sea monster. Like yeah. Kind of sea monster. Definitely. 
So he had to be pretty tough. Okay. Now the tail. I'm going to have it go up. I'm going to add a little something here. A little in. So down. Around like that. What do you think so far, buddy? Like it. I'm just doing all those things right here. Okay. Now one important detail is gills. We can't forget those. I, for I did forget about the gills. Yeah, we got to have at least three little sideways U's there for his gills. I get his gills like So that. he can breathe. Okay. What do you think so far now? His belly's kind of right here. So I'm going to do a little... Something there like that. He's kind of full. He'll be that who can eat it. Wow. Which I can be in a fight with a sea monster. Is he getting in more fights as we go here? Yes. Wow. Okay, let's ink this guy. Right, I think I'm ready to throw some ink on him. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Almost. Almost? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put more things on him. Okay. So I'm going to start with my, I'm going to start with my Sharpie. It um, doesn't have to be a Sharpie. Any bold marker that you have, we're going to start with that. We're going to outline our shark. I'm just going to go around the edges. Mm -hmm. I like what I have here. I'm not going to really change we're anything that probably. Muscles. I changed yeah. that. Hey, now's the time to do it because we're getting ready to throw some marker on there, right? So if you need to make any last minute changes, everybody, go ahead and do that now. But I like where I'm at, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Look at Mohawk. All right, I'm done going around the outside of my shark here and outlining him. So now I'm going to be taking a fine tip marker uh, and I'm gonna be going around, I'm gonna be doing the eye, some of the details in his mouth here, the gills, and some of these little things going on on the interior of the shark inside the outline, just to kind of clean it up before we erase the pencil that we've done. I like to use a fine tip for this stuff just because some of these things in, on the inside of the shark, the details are a lot easier to see if you use a fine tip marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that now. Okay, now that I've gone through and I've basically traced over and uh, done some of the details on the shark with the fine tip, I'm just gonna add a couple more little details, just some little hatch marks where there might be some shadows on it. Uh, you know, a lot of times with a shark, obviously, they're, they're swimming with their back to the sky. The sky is shining from above, so I'm gonna throw in some little hatch marks on the underside of him here just to symbolize where some shadows would be. I'm gonna do that there underneath. He's got a round belly he's been eating, so I'm gonna just do one of those right there. That just kind of gives it this illusion that this is round here. And then I'm also going to do it to the fin back here. Cause that one is, you can see the underside of that fin. I think my guard looks more beefy. Your guy is definitely more beefy. I think he's been in a couple more fights than my shark too, huh? He might be even fighting against that shark. <laughs> oh man, I hope not. 
And so, yeah, I'm real close here. I'm gonna fill in his eye. I'm gonna leave a little white dot towards the back, just where some light might be hitting it. And then I'm gonna throw in a couple little uh, marks on his dorsal fin there. I'm gonna do the same thing on that. And then same thing on his fin back here. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this guy though on this stuff. So that is Megalodon. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna erase right now all the pencil that we used to get to this point. So get a hold of your eraser and I'm gonna do that now. Okay, great, uh, I'm done erasing. Um, at this point, uh, now that I can see uh, the drawing more clearly, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna add a couple more details and, and a couple of things I wanna add are some bubbles. So I'm gonna add some bubbles above his head here. And I'm just gonna do some circles and I'm gonna kinda have him doing a zigzag back and forth like this, getting smaller as we go. Do a little dot on it. I'm gonna do another. Um, I'm gonna Water, like, like he's when he goes to the top of the water. Yeah, that sounds good too. My shark is deep underwater right now. He's uh, he's on the prowl. And then I'm gonna add something for fun right here with my pencil right in front of him. I'm gonna do a little tiny little scuba diver. I'm just gonna do it with, I'm gonna freehand this right now with a pen. I'm going to just do a little body. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is just go high almost up. a stick Look figure. Look how high up his bubbles go. It's mm -hmm. so far away. I got his fins here. Now what were you saying? The bubbles? Oh yeah, they're going all the way to the surface, huh? Yeah. I'm going to do a little arm coming off here. Scuba now, I would not want to be this guy. We're going to find that scuba tank. To the scuba tank. And I'm going to do some little bubble coming off him. Look how tiny he is. Oh my goodness. And he's really close up. This shark is huge. And I think I'm about done here. I don't know about you, buddy. I'm not done. You're not done? What should we do? I'm going to do fish. Okay. You add some fish. And then we'll go color, okay? How's that sound? Good. Okay, guys. I am pretty much done here. I'm going to go ahead and sign my drawing now. Don't forget to do that. and date it so that you can look back and see how you've progressed. Wow, I wonder what, maybe there's something bigger than him down there. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll make the bottom bubble bigger. Okay, you can do that. Do whatever you want. And with that, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna color our drawing. Mm -hmm. And Maverick has some uh, last minute details that he wants to do on his. Okay, um, and we're done. Gonna, you're done? Look at all those bubbles. Wow. He can do as many bubbles as he want. That's, that, I love doing bubbles. That's one of my favorite things to draw. And you can even do the top of a, of a, of a um, uh, volcano. Yeah. At the bottom. Under, underground it. volcano. We'd love to see uh, what you guys do with your drawing. Um, add some details. If you want to do a scene, uh, do so. Tag us on Instagram. Have your parents share it. Uh, 
at Wild Style Kids. Also do hashtag Wild Style Kids so that we see it. And we would love to repost that and share it with our friends on Instagram as well. Uh, and that does it for us today, guys. Like I said, we're going to color this. We're going to speed it up for that. Uh, we look forward to the next one. We'll see you soon. See ya. Yeah.